because everyone is here and the media is here, let me make it clear, I have no ambition to be a president. <laughs> I'm a public servant, and all I want to do is serve the people. So even though I'm a little older now, if you will have me, I will always be there, inshallah, to serve the people. The following hadith may be relevant for our discussion today. Anyone who walks with a wrongdoer in order to strengthen him, knowing that all the while he is a wrongdoer, has departed from Islam. And another hadith, the Prophet, may peace be upon him, said, assist your brother and sister Muslim, whether he or she be an oppressor or the oppressed. When asked, but how shall we assist the oppressor? The Prophet, may peace be upon him, said, assisting an oppressor is by forbidding and withholding that person from oppression. These are just two hadiths that suggest that Muslims cannot and should not collaborate with those who oppress others. And more importantly, that we should refrain from supporting oppressors as this only strengthens them. These hadiths very clearly also enjoin us to support the oppressed in their struggles and engage in activities that will hold the oppressors accountable for their actions.